leave with you and for what I want to tell Scott when I call a little bit later about where to meet Nathan. Mm -hmm. Wish you would take pictures. <laughs> I have a bunch of junk here. I want one of Nathan with his uh, Can you take a picture of uh, pictures? Yeah. Can you do that here? Let's get some decent ones. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see. No, that's Nathan with his hat off looking at the camera, right? Right. It's brighter. Okay. That was when Good. we first met him. Uh-huh. After his noon formation. Okay. And that was taken at the same time. That's Tim and Nathan. And you said he, he lost weight just in the first month? Yeah, he gained most of it back here. Mm -hmm. This is this is where we first talked to Nathan. We were sitting up here, and he was down below on the track. The track's right on the edge of the water, and this is a science building in the background, and we're sitting next to a science building, too. Did he just holler up at you, or was he able to come up there? He saw us eventually. Uh-huh. No, and then we talked to him for a little while, and then he said, I'm not supposed to be talking, so I better go. Uh -huh. This one's taken out in front of the track and the science buildings, too. Uh -huh. This is a picture of the front of Bancroft Hall that houses all the midshipmen. And this is the banner that Nathan's platoon made. They're the Playboy platoon. And they made this by sewing four sheets together. And then so that they wouldn't get in trouble, the upperclassmen said they would hang them out there, hang them out there for them. And it says, I don't know if you can read it, it says, We've got pride, golf company, hi, mom and dad. Well, they, they, got, they included that in there anyway. Sure. Yeah. Change. This is taken in Nathan's room. He has a three-man room. And that's one of his roommates, Chris Fry. He's a sprinter from Chicago. This is a the view from Nathan's room. This looks out on Lejeune Hall, which houses the swimming pool, diving boards, things like that. And in the background here, you can see the field house. And then the harbor is right behind this area here. That's a great view. Yeah, it is. I was gonna find, okay. Okay, this is down on the harbor right outside the academy grounds. You said Nathan was really tired? Yeah. <laughs> He'd sleep in between, in the car, in between places. Mm -hmm. This is taken on the academy grounds. And this is taken in the harbor thought this was kind of nice up against those pilings. Right. Okay. This is... Yeah, I got that one. That's okay, great. that's the... Uh, wait, I want to find his other roommate. Nathan's other roommate. Jim... Uh, uh, Novak. Yeah, right? right. Jim Novak, and he's from Oklahoma City. And that's right outside their room. You can see the nice tile and marble shower inside that they can never get clean. <laughs> this is, okay, his platoon marching back after some uh, exercise. Nathan's right here. I don't know what else you want here. 
Okay. No, this wasn't the first time we saw him. After the track? Or after the, he was at the track? Where is he in this picture? This was the first time we saw him, right here. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. On Friday, and I guess this was the first time we saw him on Saturday. Where is he? He's at a Navy insertion extraction exercise. <laughs> I mean, which one is he, though? Oh, he's right here. Okay. Okay. And the insertion extraction exercise involved extracting these men by helicopter from the water. And then they just flew with their arms out. You know, they didn't, I suppose if they'd hung on, they would have twisted. You know, oh. so they had to just fly. Yeah. Flying. Yeah, they look like they're flying. That'd be a flying. great feeling. This is kind of a cute one of Stephanie. Yeah. Age almost yeah. ten, huh? Right. And here's Stephanie with Bill the goat, the mascot. That's Stephanie and Leanna. Where? Right here. Oh yeah. This is Stephanie. Almost ten, and Leanna, nine and a half, maybe. Mm -hmm. And this is Sydney, who reminded us so much of our dog. Mm -hmm. They don't really look alike, but they're kind of the same type of dog. And we were kind of homesick mm -hmm. for Elliot. Andrea thinks Leanna and Stephanie look alike. Does she? Mm -hmm. Same color here, pretty much. Shortly after we met him legally uh -huh. for the first time that weekend. And this is Nathan and Tim. Uh -huh. This is this is a pretty picture of the harbor that you can see right behind the field house. I love these buildings over there. Grounds. That's Stephanie, and this is right at, you know, these are on the ground, are taken on the grounds. Found of Ray and Linda's house at Long Island. Jim says she has model potential. She loves to pose. <laughs> on the Naval Academy grounds. Um, had we, if we had had time to go out in the sailboats, these are the boats that we could have gone out in because Nathan had his Class B um, license or whatever you call it, but we didn't have time. Did we get this one? That's a good one of Nathan and Tim. Yeah, I think we did. That was one where you are trying to get the sunset. Okay. Yeah, it didn't show. right, okay, the sun is right over here on the corner of that building. This is Aunt Linda and Leanna with the rest of us in the background going to lunch on Long Island. This is Aunt Linda in the kitchen. <laughs> and this is Uncle Ray getting ready to grill some flank steak, which was delicious. of the formal dress parade. This took place on um, Saturday morning about 11, 11.30 and it was really hot and humid. Guys were passing out and in the, on the uh, left hand side of the picture you see this horizontal white line. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's an upperclassman that passed out. And when we told Nathan and Chris about that, they got quite a kick out of that. Yeah. 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 Tall. Inside this area is a huge, you know, concourse type area. And then up on the next level is a big ballroom with balconies. Now they live in Bancroft. Yeah, everybody lives in Bancroft Hall. It, it has 
I don't know, something like five or six miles of corridor and do you remember how many acres of rooms, Tim? I don't know, was it six or was it more than that? Uh, more than that, 33, maybe? 33 acres of And the plebes, during plebe summer, they all live up under the roof where it's the hottest. No air conditioning? No air conditioning. They did have some fans, which kind of surprised me because I talked to some other mothers who said that they didn't allow them to have fans uh, last summer until at one point it got so bad that they decided to let them have fans. Oh, I know what else you need. You need the picture of Nathan on the cover of this book. Yeah. Okay, before we saw Nathan, we got this book at registration and here he is right there. <laughs> Good. And then before we legally saw him again, we were in Bancroft Hall in this big building and over here there are some offices and there were display cases showing different parts of Plebe Summer and he was in a picture of, you know, twice the size of this book, so I mean a huge blow up. Um, and the picture was of them taking the oath of office. Mm -hmm. And he was he's right in the middle, right about, you know, right here. It's even better than this one. <laughs> Are you going to get the copy, you think? You're yeah. Try? We met his sponsors, and I, after we left, I was sorry we hadn't gotten pictures of them. But we met his sponsors, and she's going to check into getting copies. And it shouldn't be any problem. But that'll be real nice to have. This is not Nathan's wing, but it's similar to where his room is located. It's a corner uh -huh. room like that. So they have twice as many windows as everybody else to keep clean. They don't have to <laughs> clean the outside, do they? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. I think that's about it. <laughs>